Hi, my name is David Lorenzen. Um, I'm a student in El Tecnológico de Monterrey. Specifically, I study in engineering and innovation and development. And honestly, I believe that this course was very immersive, very different from any other course I've taken. Well, first, I would like to explain why I am recording this video here. And I believe that this place best represents me as an intellectual person, somebody that loves reading, somebody that loves knowledge. And this course is specifically about that, knowledge. Uh, what I loved about this course is that every issue that we encountered, every issue we explored in the world, we saw it through different perspectives and lenses. For example, we saw it from an economic standpoint, social standpoint, uh, cultural standpoint, most importantly because of the geocultural challenges. Um, I believe that this course was very different from any other because of its flexible nature, where we could work any time during the week on each assignment, which was uh, handed out every Friday. And it was done in a teamwork, which was absolutely wonderful because we developed these different skills, which allowed us to um, flourish our team building and uh, teams, our skills in um, teamwork, which will ultimately serve us in our professional lifetime. Anyway, I think Ms. Powell was a great teacher. Um, she imparted the course absolutely fantastic. She explained uh, every single assignment, helped us and guided us throughout the course uh, as well in the Zoom sessions. I think that uh, the teamwork was amazing and we got to learn a lot from each other. My team mainly was uh, all Mexicans and all from a similar background. However, uh, throughout the course, through outside of the Monterrey, I did learn about different cultures. I ended up meeting a lot of people from different parts of the world. For example, I met a lot of people from Singapore and I could compare them, for example, people from Singapore and Mongolia, uh, people that come from very different backgrounds. And I got to learn how these different people have different perspectives in what uh, families, what their values are. And I think that what this course taught me and what my interaction throughout the semester taught me is that everything, every value, every single aspect of a society or culture is relative towards um, the culture that we're specified in. For example, for us Mexicans being um, honest and cold might seem a little bit off, might seem um, very mean. You know, if, I, if somebody asks me, do I look nice? I'll tell them, I look, you look nice because of my culture. But... Um, if they, I answer, no, you look fat, um, the person will might feel offended. And I think that this is uh, something very important in the cultures. We explored this topic a little bit. Um, however, I think that the main topics that we explored in this class were more issues um, involving cultures and the different migrations and um, issues that are arising due to these migrations and assimilation of cultures. And in my evidence, I specified a lot about... Um, the different um, aspects and consequences of the technological advancements that are occurring throughout the world and how many cultures are being left behind. I think that the main issue with my, or the problems that I had with presenting my evidence was that my evidence um, needed a little bit of structuring. I had a lot of trouble structuring my evidence because ultimately I couldn't find um, the proper way to express so there's an issue with this and I didn't know what type of solution I wanted to implement or which way could I present the solution. I ultimately ended up um, explaining the topic of the technological gap in rural culture in rural Mexico and how we could solve this throughout um, sorry, extensive um, infra in infrastructure development and investment in infrastructure throughout Mexico. And I think that this ultimate solution was given to me because of my personal experience where I go a lot to different rural places in Mexico because I have a family ranch and infrastructure is beginning to appear there. And that's how I thought about my um, solution. But I believe that all of these cultural issues are very important because people are ultimately being left behind. There are brothers, they are part of humanity. And I think it is time that people took this kind of courses where it's not much um, of an assignment-based uh, course, but more of an open course where people get to explore their different interests, develop them, and connect them to make ultimately this planet more um, united and a better planet ultimately to, so that all cultures have their own form of expressions. So thank you uh, and have a good day.